Hello guys, it's your boy Cobra here and let's get back into another Solana update here and later on I want to cover Bitcoin as well but let's cover Solana because I've got a lot of requests uh, from Solana. So here on the daily chart on Solana we've been basically in a stable uptrend all the way down since the beginning of 2023. So Solana, that's when we uh, bottomed at the previous bear market and since then we've basically been in a, a macro uptrend. So right now I want to understand if we have uh, topped here at this massive pitchfork or if we're actually going to continue to go higher. So I want to start here on the lower time frame basically. So here on the lower time frame, if we hide this, uh, something that I mentioned in my telegram for those who are in my free telegram group is all I use is the highs here to the lows down here and then to the recent highs here. And then I was using the shift pitchfork. So if we go here on the shift pitchfork and we go away, we'll go on the normal uh, scale. I did say to people that we're gonna most likely break the support. So we had the support here from the lows here to the highs. So we had the 0.31 FIPS here as support on the log scale. So we can see this was support. Once we broke support, Solana came down. And right now I see two scenarios for Solana here. So either here on the normal scale, we have bottomed here on the daily and it also aligns very nice here with a demand zone. So I have this as a demand zone here. Let me just make it more clear plus the median line here. So I do think there's some kind of bottom here right now on Solana and I do think Solana is going to continue to go higher. Another possibility is if we go on the log scale, Solana will have one final leg lower to around 142 and then go higher. Personally, I do think we have bottomed. The only thing that worries me is the Bitcoin price action right now a little bit because the altcoins look like they're much more sensitive. So once Bitcoin drop, altcoins like to follow. So I do think we can see this, but overall we have to calculate that the bottom is in here now. So here's a good time to uh, start buying basically Solana because we're sitting also at this very nice demand zone. And I do think we're gonna head towards these highs here, which are around 188. <laughs> Something though we have to keep in mind, which uh, makes me a bit skeptic over this whole bull market, the Solana bull market. So I think what I like to do is take from the complete start here, when Solana were worth around 20 cents. So if you just pull the pitchfork here from the complete uh, lows of Solana to the all time highs we ever had, which was around 266, then to the previous bear market lows. And then I don't use the original pitchfork, we can see here uh, on the normal scale, the original looks like this. So this could be a potential target for Solana, this pitchfork up here. But if we go on the log scale, for you that guys you, you follow me, you know I like to use the log scale and the shift ones. So here on the weekly, Solana has made a very substantial top here, right here on the weekly. We can actually go here, come here on the daily. I do believe we've actually touched it. I, sometimes it depends a little bit on what exchange you're looking at. But if we just apply this as it should be, I do believe we have more or less touched this median line. So yeah, we can see here on the daily, Solana actually have a uh, but slightly front run, but more or less, I do believe that the algorithms have, it depends what kind of time frame you're using, but we have touched the median line here. And once we hit the median line, that's when Solana started to come down. So this is something that does worry me a bit. Uh, yeah, right now it worries me a bit because this could be a potential top for Solana. And even though if we haven't, uh, the bear market haven't started, we could still see sideways before then Solana goes down. The one thing that gives me hope right now uh, overall is that I do think if you look at the total altcoin market caps, if you look at the total three altcoin market cap, I do believe we're in a massive fourth wave here, something that I'm discussing in a long, uh, for a longer uh, time. So I do think we have a one, two, three, four. Right now we're still forming the fourth wave here technically before we break up towards the fifth wave. And either way, if you're bullish or bearish on Solana, if this plays out uh, the total altcoin market cap, this is gonna cause for Solana to go higher no matter what. So that's why I'm still bullish on Solana. And if we just look at the normal pitchfork here, if we go on the original and go away on the log scale, we haven't yet reached this pitchfork. And I do think it's gonna be very strange if Solana does not reach at least 270. Uh, some people are expecting to, for Solana to break the previous all-time highs. I a little bit skeptical of it. I do think it's possible if we come up here to this pitchfork, but I don't think we're gonna start rallying once we break the all-time highs. I think if this would someone would do this, this would be the absolute top. There's already a lot of money in the markets, a lot of retailers are already in the markets. It doesn't take more than five minutes scrolling on crypto Twitter to understand that this market is very, very uh, it's in late stages, let's say. There's too, too many people just looking for a quick pump and dump to make quick cash in this market. And that's not what the crypto markets are about. Usually markets are here to actually take your money, not to make everybody rich. And that's something you need to be to understand because uh, trading this market has not been easy, especially this bull run right now. So for those who are holding Solana, I would really look at this pitchfork right now 
and at the current support we're sitting at and once we reach this uh, median line here at around 290 300 depending when we reach it i would seriously start reconsidering uh taking profits but now if we look at the bitcoin chart right now as i mentioned yesterday if we come here on the daily i mentioned yesterday i had this pitchfork here we're consuming here on the four hour so I actually have a lot to, to explain to you about this Bitcoin chart. So I had the, from the lows here to the highs and to the recent lows. And I did say we're going to most likely reach this median line here. Well, it looks like we did not reach it. We're still technically inside this pitch. We can see here price came down uh, sit, sitting at support. And the algorithms are going to try to push the price up here to the median line. The only thing I do think that uh, Bitcoin wants to go lower is because we have tested this support so many times. So if we remove the pitchfork here, and we take from the lows here to the highs so this is the 0 0.31 fibonacci i've been talking about so you can see here the 0 0.31 fibonacci that we have tested one two three right now a fourth time and usually you don't get this many tests off a fibonacci level and still manage to bounce so we have this here as a demand zone but i do believe that bitcoin wants to sweep this liquidity i really hope i'm i'm wrong but if the here's a, a lot of stops under this low here so i think bitcoin wants to do something like this and we could even come down here to 62,000. so that's just something we need to be cautious about i'm very bullish on this market i do believe we're gonna break the all-time high soon but seeing the 0 0.31 gets hammered so many times here it's not a bullish sign at all in my opinion so right now i'm remaining neutral on bitcoin overall um, of course if we start pumping here then i do think it's going to be bullish but just right now we can see here price is struggling to keep above the 0 0.31 here on the log scale on the non-log scale we are already broken through it so all eyes should be on this right here uh, the reason for the dump yesterday there's a lot of spe speculations about the dump uh, the only uh, technical tool I could see what should cause this dump is if we take from the lows here and then we use the highs here. On some exchanges, this high was actually higher than this high, so it was actually wrong of me to use it to use the pitchfork like this. But you could use the highs here. So if you use this high here and the lows, you can see here we came straight to the median line and then algorithm started dumping. So there's always a reason to almost everything that moves in the market the algorithms are always the first and the last the first one to buy and the first ones to sell so you can see here price should shoot up hit the median line here before we went down so that was a mistake on my part because i was expecting this pitchfork here and then i was using the shift one so i was expecting this pitchfork here to get reached which is there's still a possibility but i just personally think the possibility is low i do think we need to take to sweep the lows down here especially this week here uh, before then we can go higher so maybe something like this before we go higher or we could also see something down here before we go higher my only concern is if we go to 63 or 62,000, this would absolutely destroy most of the altcoins so we could use the pitchfork here from the all-time highs to these lows here and then to the recent highs and then we've used the shift one here it also correlates with this demand zone so if we would start get something like this on bitcoin here would be a very excellent buy opportunity before then we shoot higher but this is absolutely gonna destroy a lot of altcoins so you have to be prepared for that but for now we're holding support so i'm remaining neutral if we start getting a daily close under these lows here so under 66.3 thousand we get a daily close then most most likely we're gonna go down because there's no real support here here's some kind of support this one here but after that the next support is the down here at around 60 63 thousand so that's what i'm looking at right now guys uh, i do think all season is gonna start soon we just bitcoin just needs to finish its sideways movement it's right now just trying to liquidate so as many people as possible and take out the stops which is just part of what markets are doing so right now i'm sitting patient i am long a few altcoins if you're interested in what altcoins i'm long just make sure to join my discord link down below like the video guys and see you again tomorrow yeah trendsetter whoa league of my own it don't get better no read what i wrote i'm a bestseller yeah reach for my